what you are currently seeing is the Poe M16 Pro, which we are about to demonstrate for you. This video will give you through a complete tour of all the operation interface, enabling you to quickly and easily configure and use the product. So let's get started. We will be using four buttons to perform all the operation and settings. The PV button is used to switch between the photovoltaic input data, while the BAT and DC buttons are used to switch battery parameters or increase and decrease parameter value when setting them. When the battery parameters are switched to adjust both settings, long pressing the BAT button allows you to enter the setting and make adjustments. While the SCT button is used to confirm and exceed the setting, long pressing the DC button allows you to configure the load operating mode. First, let's focus on the photovoltaic input section. The main page displays the photovoltaic input voltage value, followed by the photovoltaic input power. Next, let's look at the battery section parameters. The main page displays the current voltage of the battery, followed by the charging current, device temperature, and battery calibration voltage. The battery calibration voltage is a setting used to calibrate the battery voltage detected by the controller. If there is a difference between the detected voltage and the voltage measured by the multimeter or other measuring tools, you can use this setting to adjust and align the two values. Next is the battery type setting where you can choose from 14 options. You can select the appropriate option based on the actual battery type connected. If you need to customize the battery parameters, you can choose USC and manually configure the following battery related parameters. Then there is a nominal system voltage setting where you manually select the system voltage from 12 to 48 voltage. Followed by setting the boost charging voltage, flow charging voltage, under voltage recovery voltage, and under voltage disconnect voltage. The specific values for these five custom battery parameters should be based on the charging parameter requirements of your connected battery that cover all the content in the battery section. Next, let's move on to the DC output section. By long pressing DC button, you can enter the load mode setting interface. The 24 option represents the constant on mode, indicate that the load will be run for 24 hours. The zero hour option represents a light control mode, where the load will be enabled when the controller detects the solar input and automatically turn off when there is no solar input after sunset. The options 1 to 23 hour represents immediate activation of the load for specific duration. That concludes basic content of the Poe M60 Pro operation interface. We hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.